Can you sense the anticipation and joy? Today I am preparing for Yom Teruah and I want to invite you to come with me. We're going to be going to the grocery store, getting a few little things to decorate the table. I'm not really going all out, but it's going to be a lot of fun and I want to take you with me. So join me for this Yom Teruah prep with me video. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Raquel and I make videos all about enthusiastically and practically living out God's word in your heart, home, and family. You'll find videos like this one where we are preparing for God's appointed times. Yom Teruah is coming up on Friday evening and today is Wednesday and I need to go out to the store. I'm already getting my house kind of ready so I've cleared our living space area here to allow for two more tables um, for our guests that are coming and I am just getting the house kind of ready and now I'm getting the food ready and it's just really exciting. I do want to invite you to subscribe and also like this video, comment below, let me know how your Yom Teruah um, preparing is going, what your plans are. I am so looking forward to sharing this day with you as we prepare for Yom Teruah. God's appointed times are just so joyous, um, the actual day of, but also as we prepare for them, it builds our anticipation and our excitement. Our thoughts are so focused on Him and, and on His day that we're preparing for. So I just love God's appointed times, and I am so thankful that you are here to join me for this prep with me Yom Teruah video. Let's get going. Actually first I have to take care of the farm animals and then we're gonna head to the store. They're like, give it to me. Okay, excuse me chickens. Excuse me, look at this. They're excited because I have, I'm getting their food container. <laughs> huh? mm. Grab the wheelbarrow. In order to get the meat chickens food, I had to pour some food out so that they wouldn't attack the crate. Let's get the sheep some hay. Mama. Hannah, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? All right, hang on. You can see, but normally there's a mountain right here, but it's just really smoky out. All the fires from California, Washington, and Oregon have sent their smoke this way, and so we have had hazardous um, smoke or air quality conditions for the past um, couple of days or so, but it's kind of clearing up. We can just kind of see a little bit of blue sky right now. My list of things that I need at the grocery store and then we're heading out. So let's make sure everything is locked up here and doors are closed. I almost forgot to squirt my plants. This is for a winter garden. Starting the seeds indoors um, and then I'll transfer them to our hoop house. I'm, I am getting a late, late start on planting these, but it's okay. Better late than never. It's just a bunch of greens mostly, different types of Asian greens. Um, I'm going to be trying some Chinese cabbage. It's coming in the mail. The seed is coming in the mail this week, hopefully, and then I will plant that as soon as I can. Done. My husband built this shelf, two shelves for me above the sink in the kitchen window and now I can put plants up there. I haven't planted that one yet. Like he just put these up because he's been home from work due, due to the hazardous air quality outside. So um, he just got the, he's actually at work today though because it is starting to clear up but um, so he built these two shelves for me and eventually this is just going to be all planted with plants. It's going to be a great grow shelf or a couple of shelves but for now we're just doing these and that one up there. All right, is everyone ready to go? I am. Very cute. All right, let's. Stop. At this nursery. 
streets. But they didn't have, have on then I took. I went into the nursery and I bought two apple trees, um, two grape vines, um, one arctic kiwi plant, but you have to buy its mate also. So the male doesn't produce fruit, the female does, but you have to have both. So I bought two of those plants, but only one will produce fruit. Um, and four blueberry plants, some various herbs, and I bought an echinacea plant, like an already started one, because my cat decided to use the bed that I planted echinacea in as a litter box. So I lost that this year, which was really sad. But it is a perennial, and I'm just going to protect it next year. Um, but yeah, that was such an awesome garden and floral um shop and nursery it was uh 20 percent to 50 percent off on everything and mostly what i bought was 50 percent off even the apple trees so like the apple trees were 30 dollars each i mean amazing i got a honey crisp and a golden pippin but anyhow um yeah i'm really excited about that in the store and then i will show you when i get home what my menu is with the ingredients that i bought yeah you ready to go made it back home it was quite the grocery trip um lots of asking for this and asking for that which normally doesn't happen in the store but it happened a lot today and it was kind of stressful but we made it back home and i've laid out some things that i um bought for yom Terua to show you and i'm going to share with you our menu so let's flip this camera around and i will show you what we're eating and what decoration ideas i'm going for let's start with the food because that is just my favorite part of everything is the eating part and as you can see here we have some very seasonal type foods here and I didn't put I didn't like put all the ingredients I'm going to be using um, for Yom Tura on the table just because I already had some things on hand I didn't buy them but I will just fill you in on what we're making um, as I go along we are going to start with some um, salad which I have some spring mix here and romaine lettuce I'll have like a little platter with um, options of apples pears walnuts feta cheese um, I'm gonna make some homemade croutons and then a couple of different dressings I'm gonna make homemade like a poppy seed dressing um, like a balsamic creamy balsamic type dressing so that will be on a salad platter then we're going to have butternut squash soup which is just a really simple butternut squash chicken broth which i'm going to make um, from a whole chicken that i have and uh, some coconut milk and spices then our main dish is going to be rosemary chicken I'm gonna use chicken thighs and homegrown rosemary and some garlic and things like that that I already have on hand. And then um, I'll make some challah bread. Now, of course, normally I would use sourdough and not yeast. This is actually my first bit of yeast to buy in several, several months, maybe almost a year actually. Um, Cause I used to keep it on hand just for ease, but you know, it's not, I just stopped using it um, almost a year ago. But I have some friends coming who do not like sourdough, unfortunately. Maybe they've never tasted mine. Maybe I need to sneak it to them. But um, And also, I didn't want to force everyone to eat whole grain hollow when they may not be used to that. So I bought some unbleached all-purpose flour and yeast to make some crown challah and just some normal challah breads. I'm also going to be making some apple dumplings. That's why we have so many apples. I'm going to be making apple dumplings for dessert and I need to make a pie crust so again we have the uh, all-purpose flour some um, plant butter my husband is dairy-free and I never buy special ingredients like I would never buy stuff like this but it's it's special it's a special day a special occasion so I don't mind doing it for um, this once and I'm going to be using the plant butter in the uh, apple dumplings and in the sauce with the rosemary chicken and things like that um, now I told you I was going to do fancy fancy dishes and that was completely my intention but um we're having more people coming than I have fancy dishes. So I wanted to get maybe some nicer ones at the store and they were all out of pretty much everything. I don't know if it's been that way. 
um, where they've been out of like the kind of nicer uh, bowls and plates and like disposable stuff um, or if that's just like it's starting to hit again the shortages I don't know but I got the nicest ones I saw they were the step up from styrofoam and they were the only other option so that's what we did some disposables and that will really make it easy for me too and then moving on to decorations you know I'm not gonna go absolutely crazy with decorations just kind of the table just have a few little settings this is kind of what I'm thinking about something like this um, I really would like to go out and buy like not buy but um, gather our own little pine cones because we have some really cute ones let me show you look at this pine cone from our yard it is just so cute and so pretty but um, I bought a few little fall type pumpkin-y, pine cone-y things. So I might use them, I might go out and gather my own. But this is kind of the idea that I have a couple of candles on each table, we'll have three tables total, and the different ladies of their home can light the candles. I was going to do an oil lamp and you won't believe what happened. I broke our oil lamp. I was taking it down from the shelf and I don't know if it's because I have um, kind of like carpal tunnel syndrome type symptoms um, I'm not saying I have that I hope I don't but I, I tend to have some symptoms like that um, and I drop things all the time I break things all the time and I feel like I have a really firm grasp on them but anyhow yeah I was getting our oil lamp down from the shelf and it just it just fell out of my hands and so I broke it so we're gonna be doing candles which was not my first option I really wanted the oil lamps to go with Matthew 25 and the brides are waiting for the bridegroom to come again and it's just not gonna happen that way but the candles will be a nice so touch I'm doing like seasonal type things sunflowers because sunflowers kind of represent that shift in season from summer to fall and so we'll have um, fresh flowers sunflowers on all of the tables um, and again I'm kind of really going for that idea of you know no man knows the day nor the hour when Yeshua comes again and we need to watch the seasons know the seasons and just be prepared for his coming so that is our decorations that is our food that I bought today of course I have other things in the refrigerator and still you know and my rosemary still outside and all that but um, this is what I got to you know I did stop by that garden nursery and I ended up buying some some um, plants and it was it was kind of planned I mean I was going there intentionally I knew they had a cell I knew the certain things that I wanted to get I wasn't really expecting for them to have some of the things that my husband and I have mentioned wanting to have like the Arctic kiwi and whatnot I need to go get all those plants like in the ground and get their beds ready and all that type of stuff um, because I bought a little bit more than I anticipated. So I'm gonna just end the Yom Tura prep video here. Um, and hopefully on Friday, I'll actually take you along with me as I am cooking, show you what I'm making, um, and give you some recipes and things like that. And also maybe show you a little bit of our actual Yom Tura. You know, have all the tables decorated and then kind of walk, like let you listen in on some of the things that we're saying and singing and, and whatnot. So. Uh, hopefully that video will come and if not then just know that I was having a wonderful time with my family and that is why I you know wasn't able to take my camera out and film but I pray that God bless all of you and keep you I am so excited about Yom Trua I hope you are also I hope this video just kind of feeds that excitement you know I want to hear from you in the comments how are you doing um, what are you doing to prepare for Yom Trua what are your plans for Yom Trua let's talk everything Yom Trua in the comments below please don't forget to like this video subscribe pray that God bless you and keep you I'll talk to you later bye bye, bye, -bye.